And there is a lymphedema. Uh, lymphedema again, you've got chronic venous insufficiency, retention of chronic fluid in the legs, leading to lymphedema. Lymphedema can have malignant uh, potential. In other words, a patient who, have, who has lymphedema for 10, 15 years has a risk of developing uh, uh, sarcoma. Then uh, another element is cellulitis, which is uh, which sometimes it is confused with uh, dermatitis. <coughs> Other causes of pain is superficial and deep venous uh, thrombosis. Patients with uh, uh, KT have about four percent risk of developing deep venous thrombosis, and also about four percent risk of developing pulmonary embolism, which is blood clot. Dr. Rosen alluded to arthritis in patients with uh, uh, KT because of involvement of venous malformation in the periarticular area and also intraarticular area because of the chondrolysis, destruction of the uh, cartilaginous tissue because of the enzymatic influence in that area and uh, leading to destruction and uh, deformity of the joints. Of course, then compression because of the uh, uh, abnormal vasculature over the compartment where they are found. If there's in the chest, uh, abdomen or pelvic, you know, pelvic congestion sy syndrome, uh, abdominal, non-specific abdominal pain, and so forth. Uh, one element that I was going to talk about a bit briefly <coughs> is called, that I refer to it as reverse ergonomics. This is not economics, this is ergonomics. Now, normally, uh, the legs are the lo locomotive of, of the body. We ambulate, we get around, our body does different things. But in KT, when the, lip, the limb is so large and it becomes dysfunctional, then it becomes such that the body has to take care of the leg anymore. And that is why patients with KT have all these chronic pains that a lot of people don't pay attention to. I, doctor, I got this pain in my neck. I got pain in my back. I got pain in my hip area. But yeah, but you don't have any problem in that. Well, actually, you have the problem. Because if you, can, if you have to drag the leg all the time, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have chronic pain just about everywhere. If you want to, for those who, who do not have KT, put about five or 10 pounds of weight on one leg. Not both legs, because that's balanced weight. Put five or 10 pounds in one leg and walk around for about half an hour. You'll find out what I mean. The patient with KTS lives with that day in and day out. In terms of investigation, uh, my colleagues have talked about this. I'm not going to belabor that. Uh, scanogram and ultrasound and venography and other modalities. Management. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a magic bullet in KTS. The treatment is really uh, conservative. There is no definitive cure. Prevention of complications is very important and reduction of the complications. Compression is talking for patients who have uh, large limbs because of the chronic penis insufficiency and lymphatic problems. Uh, my colleague Dr. Rosen talked about the intermittent nomadic compression device, manual lymphatic drainage, antibiotic therapy. So you suspect cellulitis, you treat cellulitis. You, debate, you do not debate about that. Immediately the patients with suspicion, not diagnosis, suspicion, of KTS, you treat them with antibody. Because every time they are not treated, every time a person gets cellulitis, the lymphatics are, 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 are damaged and they are, they are hurt. Then there is a the, uh, question about anticoagulation. Uh, routinely, I do not treat patients with KTS unless there is some, some indication for other reasons. Laser uh, therapy, Dr. Uh, uh, Nelson and others talked about this. Scalar therapy. And of course, uh, endovenous ablation uh, with the uh, endovenous laser and also radiofrequency uh, treatment. What about, sur what about surgery? Generally speaking, from the data that we have had at the Mayo Clinic, is that uh, it's not very successful. But, it, it, but it, it may be necessary in some cases, especially when we talk about limb length discrepancy, usually when the limbs are greater than certain uh, numbers. Uh, amputation for digits that are abnormal. In fact, sometimes the patients come and say, doctor, since I've had an amputation of my, 
my leg because of 20, 30 years of putting up with pain, infection, and all that, I feel actually better. I can actually get things done now. Venus reconstruction, which is really in many ways in its infancy and really has not been proven to be very efficacious. So the uh, recommendations are the non-operative management, uh, prevention of cellulitis, reduction of lymphedema, meticulous skin care, and preventing injuries. Patient who had, uh, a KT patients needs to be very careful working in places if it involves the lower leg, wearing uh, uh, compression stockings, making sure that you are not, uh, you, have, you have your sh shoes on, and, and things of that nature. If it involves the upper extremities, working in the garden, meticulously wearing gloves, and so forth. And of course, if a, a person is going to travel anytime greater than four hours, compression stocking should be one hour at a time, and if it is overseas travel, I usually anticoagulate those patients. Uh, compression, 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 of course, in cases uh, where there is uh, a great deal of uh, 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 enlargement of the limb and venous congestion. And that is it. Thank you very much for your attention.